what is happening? Were people going into a panic? I'm running late! <laughs> Run late! Hold your horses! Try to get ready. <laughs> I got a new uh, a new toy. No, not a new toy, but something to help me out. A, a USB splitter so that I can put all my USBs in one spot on my computer so that uh, I'm not like jamming them all into the side and having to rearrange them and shit. And I keep bumping the damn camera and it freezes it. So I, I bought this little USB splitter. You guys give a fuck. I can tell. <laughs> you guys really care. <laughs> uh, welcome to the basement. It's your vape at five. I'm your host. I'm Black Cat. Good to see everybody. Full house today. Today, we will be taking a look at the Gas Mods GR1. And I'm going to jump right into that. I'm going to go right into that. Um, now, one thing I have to preface this and something I mentioned before. I don't get products typically. Uh, I mean, I do get some products for, for free that people send me. But I, I'm pretty honest about how I feel about them. And, and uh, this product I actually bought. And I thought it was an interesting thing to review. And I'll tell you why. This, the Gas Mods GR1 is, uh, it's following the same path as a lot of the higher end RDAs. Now, if you noticed about like, I don't know, maybe like a year ago, really with the, the upstart of, of squonking about a year and a half ago, um, not really a year and a half ago, because I can remember like back in like June of 17 and even July of 17, Squonking was still kind of like on the outs, but it, it had started gaining pop popularity. And um, a lot of people were buying a, like high-end squonks. Like the first time I ever heard about a Franken skull was back in like that time. And, 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 and people were telling me, you know, lower ohm builds, single coil or higher ohm builds, single coil RDAs, um, flavor chasing, things of that nature. That's when I really started hearing about it. Um, now, that doesn't mean it's when it started, but that's when it started getting a little bit more mainstream. Well... A lot of the higher end uh, uh, RDA uh, manufacturers started making single coil RDAs with unique airflows and um, things like that. Basically, smaller chambers, good tight airflow for better flavor type vape meant to be squonked. A lot of them, you know, a 22 millimeter RDA with a 510 on top with a tight little draw isn't really meant to be a dripper. And that's why I think like... That's why I think with this RDA, it's not really an RDA as much as it is an RSA. It's a rebuildable squonking atomizer. Um, at first glance at this thing, when I bought it, I paid $31.88 on Vapor DNA before I got their 10% discount. So uh, under 30 bucks with the discount. Um, the, at first glance, like it's a really sexy, nice RDA. I mean, it looks nice. It, it actually looks high end in a lot of aspects. Um, it the top looks like Delrum. It's not Delrum. Well, it kind of is Delrum, but not. I, I've done a little digging into, it and it's actually not. But uh, it, it looks pretty nice. It, it, it has, um, you know, it has that higher end type look, and I think that is what drew me in. But back to my original thought. The reason why I wanted to um, to review this RDA for you guys, and I think it's value, the review value of this, is one, I'm going to give you the complete honesty on it. I, I watched a few reviews on it, and I, 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 um, I, I, don't, I can't say that I fully agree with people just out of my user experience. But again, that is everybody's preference, of course. Secondly, I think if you're looking to get into higher-end RDAs, um, you have to take a few things into account. It's not going to vape, you know, it's not going to vape like a dual coil 24 mil RDA. That's not the vape you're going to get with a bigger chamber, more vapor production, larger, warmer vapes, lower ohm type vapes. This is the type of vape that you're going to have to ramp. You're going to bring the ohms up. You're going to have to lower the wattage. You're not, these, these 22, um, small chamber RDAs aren't intended for non-regulated devices, you know what I mean? They're the, they're the, the, you can't just throw this onto um, a 21700 and blast it, you know what I mean? That's not the type of vape that these type of RDAs are intended for. So if you were looking 
if you're looking for an RDA that is, you know, oh, I'm going to buy a high-end RDA, well, it's a hell of a commitment because a lot of high-end RDAs got like the Skyfall is over $200. We're talking about a serious investment for one piece of a device. And then when you start looking at the uh, accessories and, and the other things that are sold separately from the RDAs, you could put $300 into a really, really nice RDA if that's what you like. Um, before doing that, I think it's a good idea to buy one that maybe could be more affordable, like this type of RDA, that you can kind of get used to the vaping style. So that is why I wanted to review it, and that's why I wanted to give you an idea of um, what you're getting when you purchase this RDA. So without further ado, we got 53 people. How's everybody doing? I'll go through and say um, hi to everybody. I'm going to do, so here's the show for today, guys. I'm going to do a quick review of this RDA. Um, I had written down some notes of what I wanted to mention, and I, of course, forgot them at work. So I don't have my notes. So I'm just going to go off of uh, what I remember. Uh, I'll try to do the best I can here for you. And uh, then, and then, we're going to do a quick build. And then, and then, we have a doors giveaway today. And the reason I was late also was I was trying to upload a video to uh, Google Drive, a new video I made for a door that I wanted to upload, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it uploaded quick enough. So that's why I was like, "Fuck it, I was gonna go." <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's take it down to the uh, to the mat here, and uh, I, I need to get a new mat. Like, wait till you see how fucking beat up my fucking KP mat is. It's fucking awful. All right, let's take it down to the mat, and uh, we'll take a look at the GR1 by Gas Mods. Here, macro. All right, bring you guys down. Okay, so here's the packaging. This is actually what the uh, RDA, RSA comes in. I'm going to call it an RSA, even though it is listed as an RDA. You can find this uh, pretty much everywhere. You can find it at uh, Vapor DNA. Um, it's $31.99 list price. It is uh, also at Element Vape. Um, this is the same company that made the Nixon RDA, and if, if you know the Nixon RDA, you'll you'll notice some similarities um, as far as like the the cap. I think the cap's pretty much identical to the Nixon RDA, um, and it probably would fit. You could probably interchange them. Uh, another thing about this RDA, which is kind of cool, is that you can accessorize it. They have all different color caps, all different color drip tips. You know, so if you do like this RDA, then it, it will give you some options and some things so that you can matchy matchy with all your different devices. I am too old to matchy matchy, so excuse me. I basically just uh, I just keep it with the black. All right, so here's the packaging. Nothing impressive. Um, I'll say this about it. You'll notice I left the box a little open. You'll also notice that there's beating little beat marks on here, little cuts and things, because you can't get the goddamn box apart. Once you shut it, you can't get it apart. It's a fucking pain in the ass. The packaging on this thing is is subpar at best it, it's really really cheap but again it's not that expensive they could have done a little better though on it quite frankly but that is beside the point all right rda comes in a nice velvety rubber type insert here you pull that out and you get uh, a bag of doohickeys you get your o-rings you get it comes with the squonk pin uh, installed so you get your 510 pin and then the only t interesting thing in here that I really want to mention you get a couple grub screws grub screws for the deck are these things right here these are airflow inserts yes this RDA has airflow inserts okay it comes with an airflow insert that I will show you when I show you the deck but it also has this one which is a wider open airflow Basically, it has a little O-ring on here. You insert it into the side of the deck. Yeah, you insert it into the side of the deck. These are plastic, by the way. You insert it into the side of the deck, and uh, you can change them out. But you have to. Now, I've seen people say that you can run them without. You can run this RDA without the airflow inserts. You you can if you want to have fucking if you want to have uh, e-juice all over you. You sure can. But the way that the RDA is made, that if you squonk it that all that juice is going to come right out the holes if you don't have, because the way that these are shaped is they're inverted. They're shaped up towards the coil, which you'll see when I show you the deck. 
But uh, if you don't have those in there, you're gonna be you're gonna get uh, e liquid. It's just gonna be flowing out of it. So you have to run with these in there. Um, I don't dig that they're plastic, and I I think that that is something that a higher end RDA would not have these. They wouldn't have these little airflow inserts in the deck. Um, they would typically they would be built in, and it would be you would change the vape by changing the airflow on the on the cap and not by changing the airflow here that is my thoughts on it also another thing i can't stand when when you get an rda and they give you this little plastic bag that just drives me nuts like it it, it would cost like what maybe a cent more to make it like a nicer bag to like have your like accessories in it just looks so cheap to me like i i just wouldn't do it that way um it just says cheap, but it again, it's not a high-end RDA, but at the same time. Uh, and you get a couple Allen keys. You need one Allen key for the squonk pin, and you need another Allen key to um, to uh, screw in the deck. The bottom here is your stats. Uh, let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. Uh, the kit includes one GR1 RDA, one screwdriver, o-ring and bottom fill pin bag which i showed you um it's stainless steel and palm what palm is palm is like palm is like delrin but what actually delrin is a kind of palm so it's the same material um not as conductive to heat as metal is obviously so it's a little bit more heat resistant um I like Delrum, and Delrum, Delrum is typically like very polished and shiny is how I always see it, and it's really attractive and nice and looks great. This isn't. This looks like a cheap version of it. Like it's not, it's not polished. It's not smooth. It's not like shiny and black, you know, like, I don't know, like the head of the alien in the movie. <laughs> it's also shiny and black. It's not like that at all. <laughs> Terrible comparison. I don't know why that popped in my mind, but that's the truth. Um, and one interesting thing about it is it's a 22 millimeter RDA, but it's only 21 millimeters tall. So this is short and stocky, just like newer or, or just like the high end or high end market has been going for a while. Sorry, we were watching chat. I do not blame you. <laughs> All right, let's put this back in here. Grab my little bag. Now I'm going to, I, instead of showing you the deck here, because I have a build in it. So I'll just kind of show you. What I have, I have a build in this already. Um, these are I, I tried two different builds, and I'll go into that a little bit in a little bit more detail. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to show you a graphic of the deck. So here it is. Um, this is the deck out of the package. This is exactly what it looks like. Okay, let me get this a little bit bigger so you guys see if I can make that bigger. There we go. Whoops. Make this a little bigger. There we go. Now. I hope you can see my cursor, and I believe you can. I think I have that turned on, because I'm going to use my cursor as a pointer here to kind of explain what this is all about. What? Stand by. Yeah, I have a vape. So, what you have here, when I mentioned the airflow inserts, these are them. It fits into your deck right here. There's an O-ring right here that holds it securely in your deck. They're in there good. Um, that was one thing about it that I checked immediately when I found out there were airflow inserts because I, I just kept picturing taking a vape and then like swallowing them. You know what I mean? Sucking them through the damn hole and sucking them down my throat. So I checked them. They're both in there pretty good. Um, I didn't have any problems with either one. So I think that uh, they are okay. Um, these holes right here are 1.9 millimeters, so you have four of them, right? The four connect, obviously, to the airflow on the back, which is four millimeters across. Um, they, the draw on this with the standard airflow in it, just like this, with the airflow wide open, it isn't mouth to lung, but it's a tight, direct lung type vape, which is kind of what, not really kind of, that, that's pretty much what high, like more high-end RDAs are nowadays. They are a tight, direct, long, tight vape. So that is what you're going to get with this RDA. Is, is, it, is mirroring, mimicking, really, a higher-end RDA with that tight, direct, long, tight airflow. Um, two grub screws here, deck screws here to hold in your build. You uh, are going to use the uh, Faro style install, one, one lead going this way, 
one lead going that way. I will show you the five. Um, the squonk pin is raised off the deck um, about three fourths of a millimeter off the deck. Now, what I was talking about before with the airflow, as you can see, there's, there's not much distance, and you'll get to see a little, well, you won't actually get to see it because I have a build in it. There's not much difference in height between the bottom of this airflow hole and the top of that squonk pin. So if you squonk this thing with you know a regular squonk where you push the bottle all the way in and you don't have these airflow controls in here, it's going to leak all over you. That's photoshopped. It's my square. <laughs> I would my mat is awful my mat is so beat up but it, so you have to have the airflow in here now the intention of the airflow is to divert the air directly into the coil so as you can see you have the coil installed Ferro style you put it right in the middle and then these two airflow controls push that air directly pull really the air directly through the coil and into the vape with it being a short RDA means that you're getting your mouth right onto the coil and getting that good flavorful vape. Uh, one thing I really like about this RDA and one thing that, that I think it is a great idea moving forward is you don't have to, okay, so when you first get this RDA and you go to install it, you're going to think, where do I want to put the coil? Do I want to put the coil directly over the airflow? And a lot of times, like, I don't agree with that. I think you need to pull it away from the airflow a little bit to kind of get that vortex of air underneath it up. At least that's the best experience I have. But with these little indents that they have here on the sides, basically you put your coil jig right in there and then it, it, it tells you exactly where you're supposed to put the coil. So I tried that originally and I didn't, I didn't get good flavor. I raised it up. The flavor was better, but the fucking heat on the on this palm cap was mo almost unbearable. It was so fucking hot. Now that is because I was using an alien. I put, first first build I put in here was a Tricor 30 gauge uh, Nichrome 80 Alien seven wrap on here. That's the first build I put in. It was too big. It ohmed out just right at 0.2. It was too big for this RDA. So what was happening was the, the, the cap was getting so goddamn hot that I, I couldn't vape it. So I was like, I've got to change this build. Now that's another thing that, that quite frankly, that's me being, that's me being a little overzealous and wanting to, you know, wanting to control the vape instead of vaping the way the RDA should be vaped. So I changed it and I changed it to uh, uh, what I have in now is 0.3 square wire fuse clapped in. I think it's an eight wrap or nine wrap. Eight wrap. Uh, it ohms out to on a three mil. It ohms out to 0.58 ohms. So I raise. I basically raise the ohms up to a suitable level for a single coil RDA, thinking that it would be a better vape and it would be I'd be able to get the coil up higher to the to the to the mouth, but I'd be able to. It wouldn't be as hot. And I was wrong. Fucking cap. It. it you, this cap gets so hot. It's ridiculous. I actually watched a review on it the other day and somebody was praising the RDA. I'm not going to say who it was, but they were praising the RDA as they were hitting it, but they kept turning down the watts. And I know exactly why they were turning it down. It's because it gets so fucking hot. The cap is almost unbearable hot. So it's not, I don't, it, it, it can't be Delrum. I, I know it's a palm, but like I said, there's, there's multiple different kinds and whatever kind that they use, you'll see. It's fairly cheap, and it gets really, really hot. So what you're forced to do is position the coil the way I have it. Now you've got to put it down low, almost onto the airflow control. Now the airflow control, these things are fucking plastic, right? So you know what happens when you heat something and you put it against plastic? Well, it can break them up. So that's my only fear. <laughs> that that's not, That is one of the things, obviously, as a major con, is you've got to put your, to, in order to get the, to keep the cap from blowing your face off, you've got to move the coil all the way down onto these airflow controls um, to keep it away from your mouth. But by doing that, one, you mute the flavor. The flavor on it is muted. And you have a chance that if it gets down too low, that you could burn up, you could burn one of these things, or, or even just a little bit, and if, then you're inhaling plastic, and that obviously is not what you want to be inhaling. So here's the deck. The, I, I quite honestly, 
I don't like the deck design at all. I think that the deck design is, is, I think it's awful. I think that's awful. Putting those airflow controls in there, that was just like, I think honestly what happened, it was an oops. I think it was an oops. I think that they they build it and they are like, oh, we get the dual airflow coming in from sides. We'll push it in like a lot of the newer higher ends do. That what they're doing is they're decreasing the the chamber size, right? And then they like, well, we got to worry about the airflow getting in there. So the the airflow controls were a were an afterthought. Well, we'll just put these airflow controls in here to help it out. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. The de the tech design is fucking is not nice. It's not good. To be bluntly, it sucks. It sucks. Um. All right, so let's go back to the. Let me get you back here. All right, so here is the actual RDA. I've got it on top of my uh, clutter mod here. It, the appearance of it, I think it looks really nice. I actually think it looks. Um, if you didn't know what it was, you would just automatically think that it's a higher end RDA. It's got the black here. The black is um, kind of. It's. I wish my color was a little better, but if you can see, it's not really a true black. Like the the drip tip is actually blacker than the. Than the uh, than the cap and a lot of the other caps they're different color like the orange on the cap is different than the orange if you buy the separate ones the orange on the uh, drip tip is different than the orange on the cap because of this material and it's this kind of I don't know I, I don't know exactly it's not smooth it's kind of like a like a matted black like you ever seen like a matted black helmet that's kind of the look of it um, so it, I, I I mean I think it looks good from a distance but when you really look close up on it it's it just looks kind of cheap to me. I, I don't know. I, I don't think it looks that nice. So gives you air air control, uh, airflow control just by spinning it, just like normal. Your airflow again is four millimeters on each side coming in and going to this airflow control. You can shut it all the way down. You can actually close it and still vape it and get a mouth to lung hit on it. Um, that might be the best feature of it that it still gives you still gives you the ability to vape it when it's completely closed. Um, I ran it about like that, just kind of off, just basically turned it down just a little bit. And, um, I don't know. I don't think it, it, it either way, it, I wasn't getting much flavor from it at all. All right. So here's the build I have in it. Again, it's an eight wrap fused 0.3 Nichrome 80 Clapton. Um, it wicks fantastically. It wicks fantastically. It really, I'll, I'll actually hit it here and I just squonked it. See how nice it wicks? It wicks fantastic. I mean, it comes right up to the to the top of the deck, covers the entire coil. Um, that is not a problem at all. This thing, as far as the way it wicks and all that, absolutely fantastic. Zero leakage. With those, the way that the uh, airflow controls ramp up and the smallness of the holes, even when they're submerged in vape juice, it doesn't grab it. It, it, it lets it go back down and it pulls right back down into the bottle nicely. Um, no problems at all with that. Um, installing on the deck is super easy. You just got to remove one, one grub screw, put it, slide it through the, slide it under the other one, put the other one on top, put it in, cut your, uh, bend your leads up and cut them. Super easy to install on it. Um, not a problem at all. If you can look at how close I have, and now you can't really see, let me see if I can get it where you can see how close I have that coil to the airflow control. I mean, I have it like barely right on top of it, right on top of it. Um, and that, the only reason is to divert, try to deflect some of the freaking heat that is coming off this thing. Now you're thinking with small chamber, small chamber, low RDA, low cut RDA, like this one is 21 millimeters. Yeah, it's going to get hot. I get that. I understand that. But a lot of higher end RDAs have figured out ways to that you don't, it doesn't burn your mouth or the, or you, you don't like burn yourself to death when you're using it. This RDA has not figured that out. So this is at 36 watts. There we go. 36 watts. It's ohming out at 0.6. All right. Let's, I'm going to take you back up top. I'm going to take a couple of vapes off of it and tell you how it works. I have now, whenever I get a new flavor RDA, I always try to use a juice and this is common, but I always try to pick out a juice that I know. So I put a consequence in here. Consequence is my all day vape. I vape it all. It's pretty much, I always have it in one of my, one of my swankers or have a bottle on me and dripping it. So I know what the consequence is supposed to taste like now at different wattages, 
it tastes different out of a tank. Like I have my GT4. It tastes, I taste things out of the GT4 that I've never tasted before in the consequence. I, out of a good RDA, like the BTFC or the Warrior RDA, where you get really, really rich flavor, I, I taste completely different. It, it's such a wonderful e-liquid that has so many layers of flavors to it that depending on the wattage, depending on the coil, depending on the device, you get different flavors. But this, I got a completely different flavor. I got no flavor at all. So let me take a hit off of it. And I'll be honest, I'm going to take a hit and I'll tell you what I taste. Now, again, this is the consequence. So I know exactly what this supposed to taste like. I just squonked it again. So I squonked it twice. So it should be, you saw how saturated it was. So I should get a nice flavorful vape from this RDA. Now, when you when you vape an RDA like this, you're not pounding it like you would like a like a 24 mil. You want to take it in. It's a, it's a restricted, so it is a little bit you know it's direct long, but it's restricted. So you don't like on it as hard as you can. You kind of take it in slowly, and it, I'll say right now it's not hot. The top is not getting hot. I have the coil low enough so it doesn't get hot, which is good. And it's only at 36 watts, which at a 0.6 build is actually a little high. Okay, so the flavor is not the worst. It's not the worst, but this is a flavor atomizer. That's what it's being sold as. So the flavor should be rich. I should be able to taste all the notes in it, the lower notes in this in this juice. I'm not tasting it. I mean, I, you know, I get a little bit of spit back from it because the damn coil is so close to my face. But And that's really where I'm getting the flavor from. I'm not really getting the flavor from any of the vapor. Um, I don't know. I, I saw a lot of good reviews on this. Pound that black helmet. I, 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 I saw a lot of good reviews on this. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I did try two different coils. I tried different coil placements. I did not take out the, uh, I did not leave the airflow controls out. I tried the other airflow. It was too much airflow. It was too much. I wasn't getting anything at all. I put these back in, which I'm telling you right now, uninstalling and reinstalling the airflow controls in it will drive you fucking nuts. It will drive you nuts. Do not do it. Do not take them out. Do not take them out. Leave them in there and just go with the ones that it comes with. Because if you take the airflow out, you'll fucking lose your mind trying to get them back in. So, I would say the flavor is on a scale of like, you know, so I'm going to use a scale of like poor to excellent. I would say the flavor is fair. Okay, for a flavor RDA, the flavor is poor. Comparing this to another RDA I recently got, which is the Karma. Now, the Karma is three times the cost, but the Karma RDA with the same juice, same setup, same wattage, same coil, the juice, the flavor is fantastic. The flavor is wonderful. It, I get all the notes at the wattage level that I have it at, the lower watts, that I want to taste in the juice when I vape it. Nice rich dessert flavor that I want when I vape this, I don't get anything. I really don't get anything. I think that the pro to this, the, the biggest pro um, is the look. I think it looks nice. I do. I think if you're worried about how it looks and don't give a shit how it vapes, pick one up. It's 31 bucks. You could fool people. People think it's a high-end RDA the way it looks. But as far as performance, it doesn't perform like a high-end RDA, not even close. Um, and if you were looking to get into high end, high end RDAs, this would not be one that I would use as a tester at all, because this is not going to mimic what a high end RDA was. The airflow controls, come on, man, that, those are, those are so, that's so bogus. That's so bogus. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking doing that. I, like, again, I think they were an afterthought. I think they fucked up. They fucked up the design it, probably after production had gotten to a certain point. And they're like, ah, I can throw airflow controls in them to make it better. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> there's certain devices that, and, and that being said, there's devices coming out now. There are RDAs coming out now with different types of airflow controls. The Cit uh, Citadel has airflow control. The um, I, believe, I think the Day One is going to have airflow control and the Gen is going to have airflow control. That's different. 
That's completely different. Those are Ultim are airflow controls that are for different styles of vaping. They're not to hide a production foul or a design foul like this one. That's what I feel they did here. So don't put the don't don't think all oh, this guy airflow control in it a piece that you give and that's that means that they fucked up. No, that's not what that means. That I think that's what it means for this RDA. I don't think that's what it means for the three RDAs I mentioned. Again, those are high end RDAs, right? So they're trying to they're trying to give you the option to 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 maximize your vape on those RDAs. That's a completely different thing than what they did here. So. If I was rating this on a scale from poor, the RDAs as a whole, on a scale of poor to excellent, I would give it a fair rating, and I would not buy it ever again. In fact, I'm taking it off this mod and putting my Karma back on so that I can enjoy a vape for the rest of the show. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's just my thoughts on it. I mean, I, uh, I spent about... Eh, I vaped it for about 10 days. I was talking to Tommy about it today, too. I was talking to Tommy about it today, too. Just kind of going over some of my thoughts with it. And he's like, yeah, I heard that was pretty good. And I was like, so did I. I, I heard, I, I, everybody was saying it was a great, great little RDA. I saw great things on it. So I was really shocked when I got it. And at first I thought, I was like, maybe I'm just not building it right. And, you know, I, I, I can see that I, I put an alien in it. It was too hot. It was too big of a build to put in it. But I'm a builder. You know what I mean? So I have aliens laying around. I want to use them. But when I, even when I try to, uh, I, and, and I'll say this also, I think if you went straight Canthal, if you went straight Canthal, even like a Canthal wire, a round wire build, maybe you could, you know, you'd lower the watts and uh, maybe you get a better vape, but I don't like Canthal. I like, um, I like Nichrome. So that's why I vape. And if I can't put a Nichrome coil in it, then it's really not, you know, even stainless, you know, I didn't try stainless. Maybe stainless would be a little better. It ramps up quicker, probably be a lot fucking hotter. But, like, you put the karma on it. I got to turn this up. Oh, it didn't re... Oh, I got to adjust it. That's one thing about this mod. It doesn't have a spring-loaded uh, 510 pin. So you have to actually adjust it before you vape it. So let me roll this out. All right, guys. So that is that. I got 25 minutes to do a build. And then we're going to do the giveaway. The Adore giveaway. Which is going today is going to be a set of coils. A uh, set of coils, of my coils, a set of Richie's coils. There we go. A set of Richie's coils and two 30 mils of Adore e-liquid. So stick around for that. If you have not entered, you need to go to Monday's episode and put in a number between 1 and 150. It is episode number 151, uh, Black Hat Features Builder. Proby 300, put in a number between 1 and 150 to enter today's giveaway. All right, what are we, what are we building? Are we going to build something? And that's how it's supposed to taste. That's the consequence in that already. I mean, that, that, that tastes fucking fantastic. That's how it's supposed to taste. Not this, like, muted, fucking awful flavor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, maybe other people. I, who knows? All right, we're gonna do. Uh, Why well, we stick with the theme? Since I got a little bit a uh, quick time, we're gonna stick with the theme of the uh, fuse Clapton. So I'm just gonna do something really easy. I'm gonna do a uh, fuse Clapton uh, flavor build. I'm gonna do what I'm vaping now, which is two um, point three square wire wrapped in 40 gauge nichrome all nichrome 80 um and it's a fantastic vape i'm telling you man square wire is the way to go that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna do it real quick and then we'll do the giveaway and then we'll be done super easy too. just get yourself some uh 0.3 square wire get out a piece here oh there they are all right cut it in half fold it over and wrap her up. Mm, oh, that should be plenty. Like, oh, he's not making an alien. I'm not making an alien today. 
I didn't make an alien today, Nick. Here's Nick Wiggins. What's up, Nick? How's everybody doing, by the way? I didn't say hi to everybody. Hi. Everybody who joined, who's here. Thank you for joining. It's Black Cat Show. I'm Black Cat. They already said that. <laughs> I didn't really get to drink as much coffee as I normally do either, which is a major, major disappointment. There's Tommy. What's up, Tommy? Joey the motherfucking now. How you doing? Why does it look like I only have ad or uh, moderators in here? It's like a whole blue chat. <laughs> Y'all showed up. <laughs> Frank. Anarchy, how you doing, Charles? Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining. Merle, how you doing? All right. Take a piece. Now, this, I I think I'm going to stick with this being my flavor build for a while. I, I it's, it's not low on. It's, you know, it's high on. And, it, you know, it is just a fantastic little vape, man. It really, really is. You know, it's basically like 28. It's it, it's basically between 29 and 28 gauge as far as the size, but it's flat. And I, I swear to God, I still think flat wire is the way to go, man. I still think flat wire is the best. And I don't know how long I'll be on this kick, but I'm still on it and I'll probably be on it for a while. Rick, how's it going, church? How's it going? Simple Vapes, what's happening, Scotty? Fabian, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Glad you're here. Now, the other thing about the GR1, the GR1 came out a while ago. So this is not a new RDA, but uh, it's still in rotation. Um, I typically try to do things that are relatively new, um, but I think, uh, you know, this one I was just like, eh. I have a strong opinion on it, and... Uh, you know, I feel like it was a purchasing mistake, so that's why I was like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. Addy, what's up, buddy? Tree Frog Wifey, how you doing? All right. Get that centered up. I know I saw Johnny Drips. Where's Johnny Drips? Boom, what's up, buddy? Johnny Page, what's happening? Nice and tight. Get it nice and tight. There we go. There we go. That's nice and tight. That's how I like how I like my wire. All right, forty gauge nichrome. Got a little coil society. Trying to get us some uh, Coil Society garb for giveaways. I'm trying. I talked to, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? The owner over there. He said he didn't have any, but he keep me posted. We'll see. But I'm trying to get some. I want to get a Coil Society hat. I told him, I was like, I fucking love your wire, dude. I'm going to buy a hat. Wear it on the show. You know, give you some extra advertising. He's like, uh, Jeffrey's his name. He's like, fuck it. He's like, I sell enough shit without you. I do not need your help. So fuck you. Here. Cut this off. All right, let's roll this down real quick. Keep it nice and tight away from the drill or away from the swivel. And you basically just let the wire walk you down. Stay square in the build like I was talking about yesterday. Ninety degree angle. Addy, what's up, dude? Charlie, what's up? Luther Williams, how you doing, man? Lino. Woodtech Mike, what's up? OMG, what's up? Everybody's just saying hi to each other. One big family. Hey, 
Hey, Raven. Lime Dog, what's up? More on the coil. What's up, dude? No. I've done it. I've done 4-4 uh, four, four live, Johnny. 6-4. Dude. I would get kicked off of YouTube. I'd be cussing so much. There's just no reason for it. There's no reason for a 6 core. Oh, wait a minute. I'm back in my stomach. <laughs> There's a reason for a 6 core, Don, or Joey, or Johnny. <laughs> no reason, sir! <laughs> I can do two 3 cores. Parallel them. <laughs> or four two cores. Wait a minute. Three, four quarts. Jesus. <laughs> Add much? All right. A little fuse clapped in action. That way I checked the box that I did build today. I think Rip Trippers. No, I'm not pissing that guy off. That guy could destroy my channel in like one word. He'd be like, that, that black guy guy. Hey, guys. Woo, that black guy guy's a dick. Next thing you know, my channel will be fucking... I'd have, like, one subscriber. <laughs> no, I, I... I I assume... This is what I see. Like, I assume that Rip doesn't know any any reviewers. Like, he doesn't even care. He's just like, I'm fucking Rip Trippers. I have a million subscribers, and you don't. <laughs> God, I wonder how much that... You know... People hate on the guy. People hate on Rip Trippers. And, and, and I get it because when you're the top guy, you get it. Now, I see things a little differently. I'm older. I kind of, I think, I, I, you know, I've been in business and I understand how they, the guy's a fucking good reviewer. He really is. I mean, yeah, he's a salesman, but he sells more product than anybody. And he's a good fucking reviewer. If you listen to him, yeah, he knows what he's fucking talking about. I mean, I don't watch him for reviews. I typically watch like the same people you guys watch. You know, the fucking guys I know, and I watch them, and I trust their opinions. But with uh, Rip Trippers, I mean, he's a good fucking reviewer. I mean, I think if you asked any of the, like, really, really big reviewers, of do they think he's any good? I bet you they would say he's pretty good. You know, I mean. So, anyway, six inches a piece. All right. Yeah, people hate him because he's on top and he's goofy. Yeah, and I'm goofy too, but I'm not on top of anything. People would be hating on me. They'd be like, he's old and stupid and like, why do you like him? If I was up there, you know. People always find something wrong with you when you're on top. Um, but I think anybody who looks at him, um, I don't even want to say objectively, but looks at him without bias, you can't really argue with. He's, he's good. He knows his shit and he's good. And his fucking video, video editing, the jump cuts he does, like, he is a jump cut fool. He jump cuts like a motherfucker, man. Like, every word is jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Like, that takes a lot of fucking time to do. Now, granted, he's probably paid thousands of dollars per review, I would assume, wouldn't you? I would assume he gets paid a thousand dollars per review or something. Like, I, I guarantee he ain't doing them shits for free. And, Johnny, I get it. I, I think, and, and that's another thing, too. I haven't watched Rip in, like, two years. So, I think two years ago, Rip was a reviewer, certainly. Now, he is more of a promoter, but he sells, he sells, man. He sells merchandise. He mentions your 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 stuff on his show, man. You're going to you're gonna get some sales. Thank you, Lena. I'm telling you, like, the flavor I get off of this thing, the karma... But I don't really need to review the Karma because you know the Karma is a fucking fantastic RDA. Plus, there's so many options with it. There's so many things that you can accessorize with it. It's really a fantastic high-end. or high. I don't know if I'd call it a... I don't know if I'd call it like... It's not like have all the characteristics of a high-end RDA in my opinion because it's mass-produced. But I still think it's it's pretty high-end. It, it performs like a higher-end RDA. And higher-end RDAs don't mean it's going to be really, really good always either. You know what I mean? But there's other characteristics that go into. I think uh, uh, really, if you ever want to learn about like what is high end versus not high end, Jay does a really good video on it and explains what it is, and he's right. 
you know, high ends don't come in boxes like this. You know, they come like in a bag. <laughs> They're changing, but that's what normally it used to be. I mean, it's not even comparable. All right, guys, you got uh, five more minutes to get a number in to Monday's episode to win some coils and some Adore e-liquid. So get your number in because I'm pulling the number in five minutes. Oh, dude, I, I bet you Rip, I would assume Rip makes five figures per review. <laughs> Maybe not five, but high four. I bet you he makes four or five thousand per review. I, if I were guessing, either that or he gets a, a Rip off of the off the profit, something. I mean, they're, they're somehow, because he only reviews like, you know, the higher produced stuff. All right, there's one. Cut these off a little bit. Nothing better than a nice made fuse Clapton. They look so nice. It's so lovely. Wouldn't you agree? It's so lovely. <laughs> you ever seen Coming to America? You seen Coming to America? Do you know who Randy Watson is from Coming to America? He's the gentleman who sings at the church rally. All right, eight wrap. Let me count them and make sure so I don't take one eight wrap and one. All right, perfect. And there you go. Nice, a nice little set. My Italian buddy would always say nice. When I was in New York, he was like, that's nice. That's so nice. You want some nice lasagna? I'd be like, okay, I want some nice lasagna. He'd be like, nice. You like that? Nice. <laughs> he looked just like Sylvester Sloan. That's a Charlie guy. Remember you about Charlie? Charlie guy. <laughs> that motherfucker's crazy as hell. There you go. Nice, nice little set. Oops, there's some. That, that's what I made yesterday. Holy mackerel. Let me grab a little makeup container, which is what I keep all my shit in. There you go. That will be given away on, not the wire that's stuck in there. Those will be given away on Friday. Now, you're thinking to yourself, where is Friday's show? Can somebody answer where? I'm doing Friday's show, and why? Can anybody answer that? Can you answer that? Spork Life, can you answer that? What's up, Giz? What's up, John? Can anybody answer why and where I'm doing Friday's show from? Anyone? Can you? Can you do it? <laughs> Andrew Taylor, how you doing, man? Good to see you. All right, we're doing Friday's show from Vaping with Ken's channel for the Suicide Prevention Marathon, 24-hour marathon. Your boy, this guy, is leading it off. I'm leading it off. Now, I don't know how many people are going to be on there. It's probably going to be about 10 people on there. Um, I'll try to do the giveaways if I possibly can. If not, I'll come back to my channel and do them. But I'm going to be on there from 5 to 6 Eastern time on Vaping with Ken's channel. So join the channel. Join subscribe to vaping with him and then join the giveaway so you can get in there and get some stuff and uh try to donate if you can to the suicide prevention uh cause because it's uh, obviously something that we all have been affected by at some point in our lives 
whether it's something personal that you've gone through or something with a loved one that um, has affected your family. So something that you need. It's definitely something we can all get behind without question. Whether you like the person or not, who's on the show, whatever, whoever it is, doesn't that doesn't fucking matter at all. Don't be selfish and think that. All right, so all the numbers are in. Let me grab, let me get to the page here so that I can load up. No more entries. Entries are done. 553. Entries are done. Let me go over to the Monday's episode. Eight. And we go to Monday. Did you guys see a door's got a new flavor coming out? How fucking cool is that? Let me load up all the numbers. All right. Let me bring it all the way down so I get all the numbers loaded. And then. All right. I got them. All right. Here we go. Number between 1 and 150. Closest to the number without going over is going to be your winner. Winner. All right. Random number generator. One to 150. First number is six. Hmm. Low number. Closest number without going over. Second number is 23. And the third and winning number is 12. What the fuck? You see there, it says between one and 150. You can see it. There you go. Winning number is 23. 23. Let's take a look and see who the winner is. Because we're going to have winners all week. All right, let me go up to the top. Closest to number without going over. One, 24. Man, you could not have been closer. Damn, sorry, brother. All right. Uh, let's see, Ty Black, 85. William Ru uh, Rubsky. William Rubsky has 16. So we got William with 16 in the lead. Um, I don't see a number from Josh. 16 is our leader. 16. 16. Eighteen. Bill Waskavage. Bill Waskavage. Number. That's probably not how you say it. Cavage. Waskavage. Eighteen is our leader. Eighteen is our leader. Wait a minute. The number's twelve. Not. What am I doing here? The number is twelve. Hold on. I bet you chat's going fucking crazy. 12. Numbers 12, Scott. Shall I start again? Let's start again, shall we? Keeping you guys guessing. I was like, as soon as I realized that I had the wrong number, I was like, I'm going to go back to chat. It's going to say, Scott, 12, 12, 12, 12. I looked at it. Of course, I did. 12. All right. So 12 is our number. Uh, 10. Clutch. Here's star His partner, Starly. Is very happy right now. Ten. Clutch. Haven't you won? Like, I think Clutch has won like eight in a row. Hold on. Clutch has ten. He's our leader. Dude, Clutch. This will be the third time Clutch has won. Clutch. Number. The number ten. Ten. Ten's our leader. I'm getting down to the bottom. Ten's our leader. <laughs> Rob Wiggles, 47, 19, bazillion. <laughs> we got a winner. It is Charlie, or Starley's partner, Clutch. You are the winner with the number 10. Congratulations, dude. You're a madman. You're mad, but you, just, you keep winning every time. Don't get used to it, sir. 
<laughs> so it's so rigged. It's so rigged for clutch. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll get that out to you on uh, on Saturday. You'll have it by next week. Hope everybody got their prizes from this week. Uh, should have been there at least by today. If you haven't got it, give me a give me a heads up, and I'll look at the tracking, see where it's at. Uh, not much I can really do about it. I don't put insurance on any of the packages. I, I track them, but that's about it. All right, guys. I'll tell you what. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you were thinking about buying it, you know, I, I, I'm not telling you not to buy it, to buy it. I'm telling you the way that it performed for me um, doesn't mean that it can't perform better for you. Uh, if you try something different, I'm done trying on it, though. I'm done. I'm not going to use it. I, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll probably just put it away. Maybe I'll give it away. But it, I don't. Need, it's not even something I want to give away. You know what I mean? Because it's not, you know, if I had a good experience with it, I, I might. But, I, you know, it's not even worth it. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. You got a couple things on uh, the YouTube tonight. You got Heavy Metal Vapor on at 9 o'clock with our brother from another mother, Mr. Johnny Drips. And at uh, 10.30, you have Golf Tea Vapes. I hope to see you in both chats. I will be there. Uh, I love you guys. If you are in recovery. Oh, tomorrow on the Vape at 5. I almost forgot. Huh. Didn't get it past me, did you? I almost forgot. Tomorrow on the Vape at 5, I'm going to do an Enigma. I've been had uh, multiple requests to do an Enigma. We'll do one tomorrow. They're a fun build. It's a fun build. I really, really enjoy doing it. We'll do that tomorrow for you guys. And uh, that will be in the giveaway for Friday. Okay. That and the Fuse Clapton. So. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I will uh, see you tomorrow on the Vape at 5. If you're in recovery, stay strong, and I promise I will too.